Hey, what's up you guys? Shard Miss Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Amazon exclusive Captain America Comics Baron Zemo and Arnim Zola. I'm stoked to get this set, mostly for the Baron Zemo, and I know this has been out for a while, finally reviewing it now. But yeah, this Heinrich Zemo right here, I really wanted this one. Eh, I guess I could use an upgrade, we'll see. Anyway, on the side, you can see Zemo over there. On the back, you can see both characters, different images. And then you can see there's a read-up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. Uh, same image of Arnim Zola on this side, though, as we see on this. But over here, it's the same image as what we'd seen over there. For some reason, I thought this was different. No, no, damn it, you dummy, Shardimus. Anyway, you get a Hydra logo on the top. Not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. And if you're trying to get your other Marvel Legends, you can do so. A big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. <laughs> And here are the figures out of the packaging, and I've had some fun with these. I took a lot of pictures already, and I really like this Baron Zemo figure a lot. Now, the Arnim Zola, not a lot of new. Actually, there's like almost nothing new about the Arnim Zola figure, which kind of makes the Baron Zemo just feel like a very expensive Baron Zemo, right? Because you got to buy two figures to get the one thing I wanted, and that, yeah, that, that kind of frustrates me. It does frustrate me, not kind of, it does. But anyway... Not a bad Arnim Zola figure. Let's get a closer look at that figure first, and then we'll get a closer look at Baron Zemo. <laughs> So yeah, while not a bad figure, this Arnim Zola is probably why it took me so long to actually decide to pick up this two-pack set. It's not different from the last one except for the image that you could see over here and the natural fading from this 2011 purchase. So you can see the arms are faded on this older one. That is a bit of a bummer, but it never really bummed me out to the point where I was like, ah, I gotta get a brand new one with better painted arms, you know what I mean? So I did get the other version from the Secret Empire storyline. That at least had a totally different scheme going on. But you can see right here, it's the same exact color scheme. We just have a lot more older Kirby-esque image right over here. This is a lot more contemporary. To be honest with you, I do like this face a little bit more. So if anything, I might switch the faces on these and have this one up on display. So it does look cleaner over here. Uh, you can see the bands are painted on the new one and we don't have the bands painted on the old one. That's a difference. You get kind of a gold color right over here for these little patterns. This is a flat yellow. And then uh, the legs have a slightly different color orange to them. So there's just subtle differences in the coloring over here. I do like that this has more of a metallic sheen than the older version. But this is a little bit more of a uniform color throughout. Matches the arms better. Well, but this is not the same. So, yeah. It's not really that different. As far as accessories go, uh, you do have this headpiece that was unique for the Secret Empire version. So using it on this figure isn't really that helpful. And then you have his controller, which, you know, multicolored and looks different from the first one. The other one was just a gray piece. This one has some different colored buttons on it. So at least this is interesting to look at. But it's not swaying me over to feel like I got a hell of a deal with this new figure. <laughs> Sorry if my lighting looks a little off. It's this early morning daylight coming through that kind of alters the lighting on my review station. But I love this head sculpt. I'm so happy that we got this masked head over here. I don't know why we can't get a Cobra Commander like this. Eventually we will though, right? And this was part of controversial thing. You know, people are upset. Hey, well, what's the deal? No Cobra Commander, but we could do Baron Zemo. And hey, I'm happy that we got Baron Zemo over here. I love the wrinkles in the sculpt. The nice line detail right over here looks really good. Subtle paint detail underneath the eyes looks great this crown pops off easier than i'd like though <laughs> it looks hilarious uh you know making this a cobra commander head would be really tricky you'd have to fill in that gap right there or you just leave the crown on there <laughs> which not would not look right but yeah i really do like this head sculpt a lot i really think they did a great job with it and they also gave us the alternate head right over here with the maskless and oh that adhesive x stings doesn't it look at that oh man so yeah it's his own head adhesive x right there on his own face messing them all up and i love how this came out they did such a good job with this very very scary looking as it should be and then the rest of the body you can see that we got the collar added to it but it is the whole red skull and dormammu body mold used over here so not a lot of new to look at you can see the belt piece is new along with the skirt piece so that's cool i do like the vibrant gold on it we have the pinless double jointed elbows over here i will mention i have some uh, 
loose knees with this body mold are, are they're consistently loose and that's frustrating it's more on this side and then this leg pops off super easy so that bums me out too so uh yeah it's frustrating to work with at times i wish we had a little bit of paint detail on these cuffs right over here for the boots that would have been nice and yeah they look okay for the most part but some more detail added to them would have been pretty nice to see I'm not giving Hasbro hella points for this or anything. I'm just happy to see that there's paint on the back of this thing and how messed up it would have been if it just stopped right here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, come on. Not even the collar gets a full paint. But they did paint it. Not that they win anything for it. They did the minimum, but it would have been funny and it would have pissed me off if they'd taken this paint off. The set of fisted hands here on the Baron Zemo figure, but he also comes with weapon holding hands with the horizontal hinges and a set of wide open hands. And he does come with two weapons. So it looks like a Walther P-38 over here, right? Looks really good. I like it. If I'm wrong about that, let me know. But it certainly looks like Megatron to me. I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong. And then you get this sword over here. And this looks pretty good with the nice silver paint. Nice gold shimmery plastic. So to briefly go over the articulation for Baron Zemo over here, which, you know, this figure came out not that long ago. We get boot rotation, or this body mold is very newly released. Uh, the hips do move out all the way. The skirt doesn't really impair movement going forward. This ball joint's super loose, so this leg will move upward more so. This is pushing this loose right leg down. So yeah, unfortunately, this is just a really bad leg on my figure overall uh, the ab crunching works okay the belt does not get in the way the waist swivel works okay you get a ball joint for the head so you can't really look up at all or down much at all just wiggles a little bit and then moving the head around and having this crown pop off is annoying but you can turn the head side to side even though we have this big old poofy collar right over there as far as arnim zola goes i mean this figure came out in 2011 uh you get a hinge right over here you get rotation pivots a little bit at the head so i do like that shoulders move outward 90 rotate a full 360 as long as you have it splayed outward a little bit then you have a single jointed elbow rotates at the elbow wrist turns side to side and they hinge up and down you get a waist cut there hips move outward kicks forward uh, not back upper thigh cut double jointed knees and then you get boot rotation and the ankles do move down they do move up a little bit and he has beautiful ankle pivot and to measure out these two figures you can see baron zemo is standing just a little under six and a half inches tall and then up over here we're looking at about six and a half inches for arnim zola to bring him back for comparisons you can see the build of figure arnim Zola right next to this two-pack version and I sold my secret Empire version looked around for it and then remembered I sold it uh, but you can see the controller over here for this older Arnim Zola it's just a flat gray plastic right over there so yeah I do like the color on that one but I do like the gold on this one right we have some gold over here this is the flat yellow or a glossy yellow but it stands out more I don't know I just feel like overall visually this looks clearer to me than this one. You know, even shining more light on this, it, it still stands out a lot more. It just looks better to me. Then here's our Heinrich Zemo next to a couple other Hasbro Baron Zemos. We have the first helmet Zemo, which came in an SDCC pack, if I remember correctly. Then I believe this is the Walgreens, the Walgreens exclusive helmet Zemo. And then for a Heinrich Zemo comparison, you could see our Hasbro Baron Zemo next to our Toy Biz Baron Zemo. And I guess, yeah, I would have rather he came with a scepter instead of the sword i always felt like the sword was a helmet zemo kind of thing and then you can see you know while i think this is a way better figure than the old toy biz figure i wish we could see the level of paint that we see on these figures on these newer ones i mean look at he's got paint on the boots paint on the cuffs over here paint throughout all the purple that would be nice to see however ironically the head doesn't have any paint in those lines when this one does so at least they put the paint in the right place and then since this is technically a Captain America 2 pack with the on the packaging and all, here's the 20th anniversary Captain America. And then here's Baron Zemo and Arnim Zola next to your average scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Hey Arnim, a quick question about your little controller dealie over there. Uh, when you use that thing, do you, um, am I supposed to look up here or down there? Because uh, the eyes are down there, but the, like the actual eyes up here. So is it like up here or down there? Up here or is it down there? Or is it up here? Or is it down there? Oh! And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. And if you're new here and you want to see more coming to the channel, which I do have more coming to the channel very soon, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'm going to have a collection video of all my Marvel Legends coming up very soon. The dork room is way cleaner than you guys last saw it, and I do want to show it off. 
And getting back to these figures over here, I really do like the Baron Zemo figure overall. And I do like this Arnim Zola. It is the preferred Arnim Zola out of the two that I have. And I, I'm going to put him on the shelf. Uh, I may switch the faces. I might not. But as it is, it's still a cool looking Arnim Zola. And I would consider it to be the definitive Arnim Zola figure to get. Uh, even though th there are some things about it that, you know, I, I, there are things on the older one that I do prefer, like the touches of gold. And then I do notice some parts of the yellow on the Zola, or yeah, on Arnhem not having the right amount of yellow paint on there. So there is that too. Uh, so overall, I did pick this up for the Baron Zemo figure. And the Baron Zemo figure I really do like. However, I do have problems with that right leg that really bums me out and I do wish there was a lot more paint on the figure am I happy to have it yes I'm not happy that I had to pay 50 bucks to get it though to be honest with you I am kind of bummed out because the QC issues on top of the ha on top of having to buy another figure to get it ah man it puts the sud rating for this $50 purchase I'm gonna give it a it's so bad. So yeah, uh, for a $50 purchase to get this Zemo figure over here, I'm going to give this Zemo Arnim 2-pack a sud rating of... And I'd like to know what you guys think. I wish I was happier about it. I really wish I was, but... The this is how it went. So let me know what you got to say. Did you have the same QC problems on your Zemo? I want to know. Let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see the latest Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and on whatnot. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.